Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your weekly mystic for April 1st through April 7th of 2024. As we begin our first week of April, closing out the first quarter of the year, uh, time seems to be flying, but let's move into the energy of creation as we use our beautiful high vibrational frequency for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. And as you see below, I have a spring fling 20% off discount going on for the month of April. It ends on the 21st, so I hope you can grab onto that and I'll be looking forward to seeing you as you book a reading. So as we crank up our relentless optimism, our positively positiveness, we use the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to create our best possible life now as we focus our energy with intention. Here we go. We have the Five of Pentacles and the Fool. So the Five of Pentacles is the energy of letting go and knowing that the universe is working on it behind the scenes. You don't have to actively participate or even try to force it because it won't get you anywhere. It's already trying to do it. It's like hitting the, the inner button over and over and over again, trying to get your screen to come on right on, on the computer when it's booting slow. So we don't want to make it worse by continuously hitting buttons, right? Let it, let it go through its emotions and let it, let it go through the throes of creation. The universe is bringing it in just because you can't see it doesn't mean it isn't happening because there's a lot in this realm, especially in the quantum that we can't see, but it doesn't mean it's not happening. We have, we have a lot of things going on around us that we can't see or hear. So here is the fool coming in saying, here is the beginning. I'm bringing this in. And this is the creative source of abundance. As you close the door to the past and move quickly into the future, allowing yourself to have the door shut and not have any baggage coming with you. So we're sealing the past with a kiss and we're starting fresh and new with adventure in our hearts as the fool would, would bring. So. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit. We have the three of wands moving very quickly forward as we are able to leave the past behind, knowing that the experience and the skills are there that we've gained, all the knowledge we've gained, but we're able to not have to babysit the experience anymore and we can move on actively. So what you've been waiting for with that five of pentacles is definitely coming in with the fool's energy to help you leave the past behind and move forward in your new endeavor. Remember, when they've got their back to us, they are moving forward. Divine spirit, spirit guides, gods and goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon, and rising signs to have the information they seek. We'll just take both of them to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome this blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, Monday, oh, there's a, there's a card in between. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday energy. All right. And our underlier here, stand your ground, seven of rods, and don't settle for less than you deserve. This is where you have to stick to your guns. And that means part of that is that five of pentacles energy of holding, holding fast, right? Be still, go about your stuff, but keep your mind focused on the outcome and not on the things you don't want. We want the outcome we're choosing, not the outcome that might happen that's negative, right? Because we have to discern that so that the universe doesn't fixate on the fear we're having in the negative. So we start here. Oh, nice. With a yes, a welcome wagon, a, a determination of you are allowed, you are permitted, you are granted entrance, you are granted membership, you are granted permission. This is the Taurus Major Arcana, the Hierophant. It can have to do with a government agency or entity or a large organization, and it's the Taurus Major Arcana. So as we move through this blessed energy, OK, 
Okay, that one flipped around on me. It got stuck, but it didn't fall, so I'm, I'm not taking it. We move through our weekly forecast here and see what's going on. Uh, they said one more time. And here we go. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday. Oh, that's the card that flipped around. I should have showed it to you. That's the six of, of cups. So it, it was trying to come out and it ended up showing up anyway. Look at that. So this is soul family energy. And it is the energy of people who support you through thick and thin. And, you know, in the lean times as well as in the flush times. And they are here with you through many lifetimes as we are for them. And so beautiful energy of stand your ground and you've got support in doing so. because that. Six of Cups means the people are in your corner that need to be in your corner. And we're going to start here with our confirmation cards with good fortune. Good fortune is always a good thing to have in your front of your mind. Is I am one of those people who amazing things happen to all the time. And I'm always blessed with wonderful things. They show up out of the blue. Even if I don't know I need them, the perfect thing shows up. Like Keep those confirmations. The universe provides me and my family with prospects for good fortune. Now, remember, prospects means you've got to, to see to it. Or you've got to engage it, right? A prospect is an opportunity, and you want to embrace it. So allow yourself to look at all things that are proposed to you as, okay, well, even if this is something I perceive right off the bat as negative, maybe I should give it a second glance and see how actually this is doing me a favor. Because that happens all the time. We just got it. keep our, it's easy to get a negative mindset. The hardest thing is to be in a place of creative mindset and to be able to, to listen to your inner guidance and not be worried about what other people think. Trust your own energy. Trust. I set my intention and trust in my abilities to improve my circumstances. This is absolutely imperative. Because without trusting yourself and getting out of your own way, then you're, you're stifled on creativity. And creativity is, is miraculous. That's where miracles come from. When you're in the energy of putting it out there and receiving it back in the form that the universe can bring it. Ooh, soul connection lovers. This is beautiful. So let me tell you what I did. I don't have two stones that are actually conjoined, but I have two stones that looked like they were cleaved from other stones. So I took those two stones, as you can see, I'll hold them up to you. They're separate. I can move one independent of the other, but it has a big, I'm not gonna pull it apart because I just put it back together. It has a big flat spot here. If you can see, it's very narrow and there's a ridge. So I married them and then I put this red ribbon, a red cord around them. So that I'm in the energy of attracting my perfect mate. So if you have two crystals, you can do this. It's just something that came to me. A uh, spirit gave it to me and said, hey, why don't you do this? And I thought, that's a really good idea. So I picked the red cord because I had it. It was, it was part of another thing that I got that was a gift. So it has a little fishy on it, a little wooden fish. And I think that's a symbol of prosperity. And abundance. So there you have. I made my own soulmate connection. I'm going to put it up here. That's a fun thing to do. And we have our beautiful sacred geometric affirmations or activations. Communication. This is a big one because. You have to be able to communicate, especially in these times we use different forms of communication. And I'm sorry, but uh, electronic communication has a lot to be desired because you can get a different um, influx of what you think someone means. The interpretation may be altered because there's no emotional or, or connected sound to a voice. So just remember that. Um, communicate in person as often as possible especially with someone you love or people you love. You want to be in, and, and with the universe, right? 
Because if you're not communicating, then you're just sitting there in a place of silence. And, and even Buddhists and, and, and monks, they communicate when they meditate. They're thinking the thoughts. So this is important. The thoughts are communication as well. The frequency of communication supports our ability to exchange information in many ways and many different forms. It reminds us to run every piece of information, both incoming and outgoing, through our heart, the center of our truth. To stay in the flow of source and balanced exchange. So this is important. Allow your heart to tell you what's true, not your ego. Ego is not your heart. Heart is forgiving and compassionate. Ego is a little harsh, right? Judgy. <laughs> so here is, is the Monday energy for April Fool. Oh, we hope this is not an April Fool. <laughs> I don't think the universe plays April Fool. We just, that's a human thing. Um, here is the Ten of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords. So the mighty, mighty uh, in influence here of the knowledge and skill and downright capability to slay dragons, literally, is putting you in a position for that money to come right on in the front door of the Ten of Pentacles. We will take this because this is amazing. It's also air sign queen. So. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Major Arcana. So that's a very nice connection because I'm <laughs> Libra. <laughs> Yay, team. And then we have the energy of the knowledge bearer because she's got that beautiful connection to source and divine knowledge. So very solid. Queen of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. I'll take that all day long. If that's what an April Fool is, I'll take it. Thank you, universe. Tuesday's energy. King of Swords, so you're following through with, for, with all the challenges that may come. You're not by yourself. This is Archangel Michael as well. And it's the masculine of the air sign energy. And when you embody this energy, you are indeed the, the victor of that challenge. So the five of rods is all about uh, holding your ground, literally. Not flinching. Any challenge that comes up, don't flinch. Just get through it. Every challenge is the energy of bringing in something that's going to change and allow you to move forward. So I was telling you, hold your ground, hold your ground. You've got it all that you need. And look at those two, uh, king and queen of swords facing each other, the masculine feminine of the air sign. But you can be embodying both of those. Just because you're not an air sign doesn't mean it's not somewhere in your chart. And everybody embodies all of the different ones. So different times, they do different things. Our Wednesday energy of the document and the three of wands, which we saw earlier. This is the energy of getting the contract, the document, the official announcement, whatever it is. It usually means a paperwork or some kind of contract or certificate, whatever it may be. You're able to move forward with this beautiful energy. We will take that. Hallelujah. Wednesday. So the first, this is looking fabulous. Thursday. Oh, Oh my gosh, this week is outstanding. We have the sun card. What an amazing energy the sun card brings. This is an absolute victory, rebirth, something being brought in in, in, in more than enough, right? So it's a, a, like a, an, a super abundance. And that is the opportunity of a lifetime with the Leo Major Arcana. So the sun card is the happiest card in tarot. So it's a really great card to have with the ability to move with the Archangel Ariel, the loyal energy of that Leo strength card, walking you down the path through all challenges, literally will not abandon you, will will hold with you through thick and thin. So solid energy of that. And you have the power to endure whatever it takes because you've got this beautiful victory here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And... Don't get too much in your head about trying to have it happen through your physical action. This is telling you go within and the emperor is now here to, to assist and he's in his full regalia. This is the Aries major arcana, the emperor, but it means fully formed and actionable. So you can actually go and, and, and begin and start and not have to and reinvent the wheel. So we love that. That's a completion of, of the fullness of it is that beautiful Zodiac wheel around him is solid gold. And last but certainly not least, we have friends again, the Six of Cups. 
Soul Tribe, and to all believers, keeping yourself in a place of faith and abundance, victory. So keep your mind set on the prize and don't accept any substitutes because your faith and your trust in your own ability is what's going to get you there. So beautiful week. I love you guys. I hope this all can resonate with you and bring you close to your goals and let you seize the day with your ability to do so. So I love you guys and I hope you have a fabulous week. Don't forget, we also have the dailies and the monthly horoscopes are out now too. So many blessings to you all. Have a fabulous week. Namaste, my friends.